Tim Blanchard Shapiro, Divorce661.com. And what we're talking about in this video is when you do need to amend your petition and refile it and reserve it. Many of my videos, I talk about the reasons you don't because we get a lot of people calling us, telling them that they've talked to other paralegal services or legal document preparer services, telling them to amend their petition when they don't actually have to. But here's four reasons off the top of my head that you need to file your amended petition. Let's see if I can remember them all. Number one, if you have used the wrong name or combination of names in your summons and petition, for instance, if you used first name, full middle name, last name on your petition, but then on the summons you used first full name, middle initial only, and then last name on the summons, you have to amend your petition. The paperwork is wrong from the get-go and you have to refile, reserve, and add another 30 days to, before you can submit your judgment for a review. The other reasons that you would need to amend your petition is if you skipped or inaccurately described property, so on the community property and separate property portions, if you left that blank, that's probably the worst thing you could do. Um, you're gonna have to amend your petition because you just can't leave that blank. At a very minimum, if you don't know what the property is, list to be amended or parties intend to reach a full agreement, something to that effect. And the other two big things we see people doing is skipping entirely over the custody section or not checking the right boxes. For instance, you know, requesting joint or full legal or physical custody, but then uh, not, not addressing it for the other party or skipping it again entirely. Same with spouse support. Uh, we've seen people completely skip that section or maybe they just marked uh, terminate to one or spouse to the other. That part's fine, but when you just totally skip the sections, you're going to have to amend the petition, um, even if it's an amicable divorce. So just keep that in mind. It's very important how you start your divorce case. Even though the court files it, you may say, well, the court accepted it. Of course, they're not reviewing your paperwork. So they will accept it, but you won't know until you submit the judgment that it's rejected. So that's why when clients hire us, and we had four clients hire us this week already, and it's only Wednesday, to fix their judgment. They tried to do their own divorce. And in three of them, we had to amend their petition for one of those four reasons I indicated. Even though it's amicable and they're in agreement, it's just procedurally and the, the statistical data, I always have a problem saying that, uh, is incorrect and the court can't move forward with your judgment. So we're forced to file an amended petition. It does add time to your divorce just by 30 days because we have to refile, reserve, and then at least 30 days have to go by before we can refile your judgment, even if the divorce an original petition had been served, you know, six or eight months ago or whatever the time that frame was. Tim Blanchip, Divorce661.com. I hope you're having a great day. Give us a call if you need help. We can help fix your judgment or start your divorce from scratch.